Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zercher and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new little toy that I purchased. It's called the Helix Circle Maker and it looks like that. And I thought that I would demonstrate it while trying to use it on fabric and see how I can see what I can do with it, using it for the different applications that I want to use it for. So dividing a circle into different quadrants and see how that works. So come and join me if you're curious and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me with the YouTube algorithms and leave me comments. I love hearing from you. If there's something that you'd like me to demonstrate or talk about, um, you can always leave that in the comments and I'll, and I'll do my best to do that. So let's go see what I can come up with, with this new little gadget. So this is the, um, this is the thing that I bought and Let's see, what did I saved the packaging. It's called a Helix Angle and Circle Maker. I don't know if this is going to be any better than anything else, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. So I've got my chalk pencil here. And it seems to me that you can... You could probably just put a needle in here for zero. And then what you can do is move this outer ring so that it says zero here. So I'm gonna move this to zero, put that there. And then I can mark so if I want a half inch, it would be here. Let's see if I can do this. If I want an inch, it's gonna be here. Now, I wanna keep my needle pretty close. So let's say I'm gonna go an inch. I'm gonna do an inch marking. And there's gonna be my first line. And then if I want to move this, let's say 20 degrees, or let's say 30, that would be 30. And then 30 again would be 60. I'm gonna go right there. And then 30 again would be 90. It's gonna be there. And then 30 again, so 120. Be there. And then 30 again is 150. See how this works. 180. And then two ten. I've run out of my. Oh, 
do it in lead. Two forty. Two seventy. gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve spokes for a one inch circle. And I can divide that up. So I'm gonna make something out of this and see what happens. One of the things I like about this is that the acrylic isn't so thick. So it's actually a, quite a bit thick, thinner than other templates that I've seen on the market. Um, the other thing is, is that I can divide it into many more spokes if I want to. Um, I do have to calculate out, so that's, I guess, a downside. It gives me much smaller circles as well as giving me much bigger circles. And I can go up to a four inch circle which is, you know, pretty big. So it gives me, you know, I'll have to, I'm gonna play with this a bit more, but I think it's nice. I think it's a nice addition to have. I'm not uh, disappointed with it anyway. So there are my little guys, and um, I think I'll do, see how it works. There's my 12 spokes. It looks pretty good. Yeah. So there's my little spokes made with my um, with my little circle maker thing. And I think it's pretty good. 12 spokes. I could have done larger. Um, so I think, here's what I think about this. 
I think for those who are willing to do the calculations, this is actually a great tool. For those who don't want to bother with that, maybe not so much. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence with this. Uh, what I do like is that the acrylic is so much thinner. It's much, much easier. Um, I don't have to push my lead or my chalk out so far. It's literally, you know, just a little bit. It's half the depth of some of the other acrylic templates I've seen that are out there. Um, I'd have to play a bit more with this and, uh, but for now I think it's, I think it's pretty good. So if I want an odd number um, of spokes, I'm going to start with zero here, you know, and I'll put my pin to anchor that like that. I just want to make sure that I'm pressing up and then I'm going to keep my gauge here at zero and let's say I wanted to do five well I'm going to divide this is 360 by five and that's going to give me 72 so every 72 and I'll put this zero then to 72 degrees and every 72 I'm going to make a mark and um, and then I'll get five spokes. If I want, you know, seven spokes, I'm going to divide 360 by seven. Obviously, when I start getting into um, numbers that aren't going to work, or they're going to be so small, you, you would just sort of go as close as you could. The other thing here is that if I want to do a circle, right, and this, I think, would be especially useful when drawing circles or trying to draw circles, is that I can put my, my pencil here, and then I can push this around, and it works well on a piece of paper, because I tried it, but you basically just hold it and push this around, and you're gonna get a circle that you draw by putting your chalk in here. Um, I think it's harder on fabric, especially harder on fabric that has stuff already in it where there are lumps, but it's just another thing that you could you could do. So, um, I'm trying to find a piece of paper. So if, for instance, I've got my sketchbook and let's say I'm just sort of sketching something and I want to do a one inch circle. I'm going to put my pencil here and, and I'm going to draw it around. Um, it helps if you have not a mechanical pencil, um, I think. So here's my center and I want to do you know, this, I'm going to go around, this is going to be a three inch circle. It's going to go up to a four inch circle, right? Because this is zero, this is two inches and that's going to, so it's going to end up being a four inch circle. So I think it's, there are a lot of uses for this, um, and I just need to keep playing around with it. But yeah, I, I like it. I think that there are a lot of possibilities here.